Call 911 as soon as you suspect that yourself or someone else is having a stroke. These symptoms might include difficulty with speech, difficulty with motor function or walking, or sudden dizziness. Once you call 911, you'll speak to a trained emergency medical dispatcher who will collect some information from you. They may ask you when the patient was last known well or when you discovered these symptoms, as well as information about medical history. But don't worry, any ambulance has already been dispatched and is on the way to your location. Once the ambulance crew arrives, they're going to perform a stroke assessment. They'll look for changes in motor function and speech, as well as check a blood sugar. Once they have done that assessment and performed any interventions that are necessary to stabilize the patient, they'll begin transport. The whole system is designed to reduce the amount of time from when you call 911 to when you show up at the hospital doors and ultimately go to the CT scanner. On their way to the hospital, they may perform some other interventions. They may start an IV or put you on a heart monitor. All of the information that they collect, including vital signs and information about medical history, as well as their stroke assessment, will be passed on to the hospital. The communication system between emergency medical dispatch, EMS, and the hospital has been designed to help to efficiently collect information and get that information to the people that need it as quickly as possible. It helps the EMS crew prepare before they arrive at the home, and it helps the hospital prepare before the patient arrives at their doors. When you arrive at the hospital, there'll be a team waiting for you. This team will collect information to get you registered as well as any relevant medical history and collect information about previous visits to the hospital. Typically, you'll be brought to the CT scanner on the ambulance stretcher which you arrive on while moving you to the CT scanner. They may continue to ask you some questions and gather some information. Although you might feel overwhelmed by all the staff, the goal of this team is to collect the information as quickly as possible so they can get you to the CT scanner or CAT scan. This will take an image of your brain, which will help the medical staff determine what type of stroke you're having, as well as the severity of that stroke. When it comes to strokes, time is of the essence.